Hello vacuum forming fans and maybe RC body fans. Today I am going to do a little experimentation. I had someone ask me if I could make uh, these bodies a little differently. So instead of clear polycarbonate, we're going to go with this. This is ABS. Uh, this is typically um, more the type of material you would find your Tamiya, Tamiya bodies made out of, you know, the, that are injection molded. Now this has got a, a, a smooth, glossy finish to it, but it does have, you can see where it, how it was extruded out, you can see the line. So I don't know if this is going to be the best material for what they're looking for, but I thought, eh, I'll buy a sheet and give it a try one time at least. I'm interested in learning different materials. The backside with those are rough surface so I'm not sure if this is going to work we may have to find some different material to do this this will be what is going to go against the buck or mold or the form of the body and we'll see what happens and then uh, we're going to put some of them that we're making at a reduced price up on probably just straight to eBay uh, just because we're looking for feedback on or I'm looking for feedback on how it works, if it works. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. It is a grand experiment. So you're gonna see now what happens when I try this. All right, I'll show you one live in action. I've done a few now already and they've not come out exactly the way I want them to. And I've learned that it takes a lot longer cooling time on the mold before you can pop it off, so I was really bad. Uh, but yeah, that rough texture is gonna cause you Now makes this is the clear side and you can see it leaves a rough, which I mean I don't know what I Alright, and this time we'll do um, it's uh, smooth side down and we're only cooking it for like 20 seconds with this. This is about this is 060 point zero six zero and point zero four zero four zero polycarbonate takes about 10 15 seconds longer. So you can see that forms pretty well. I've got the cooling time set a lot longer now. To try and hopefully make sure this doesn't wear up in the air effects. <laughs> That's not quite what we want. Uh, we need to turn down the air eject pressure as well. One of the things I've done now is dial down the air eject pressure down about 15 uh, pounds per uh, square inch uh, PSI. But uh, so yeah, I think we were at 30 before. We'll see if that makes much of a difference. We'll uh, once again adjust some cooling stuff again. It takes a lot longer for some reason to cool this ABS than the polycarbonate does. Do it again this time. Uh, what is it? Rough side down again. I'm going to also do a little cooling assist this time with the air gun. all the demos of these machines and they're using something like ABS or styrene it is way more forgiving than polycarbonate way more forgiving than polycarbonate all right recap of doing this experiment I'm borderline calling it a failure sort of thing but a success because I learned something and found out that if I can get ABS the way I would like it in uh, something that's smooth on both sides I think I've got a winner here so what's going on here is, uh, first of all, the first one I did, <laughs> it was this way, it was formed this way. That's when I learned right away that, yeah, the rough side's gonna translate over to the other side, which I, I thought was probably gonna be the case, but you, you never know. Um, that is not gonna work, of course, but then we found out that the cooling temperature needed, or the cooling time needed for this before coming off the mold needed to be at least, I think it was triple what I normally do. And I had just run earlier 
the polycarbonate version. And remember, this is 040 and this is 0 0.060. This also, um, compared to the polycarbonate, when it comes out of the heating area back in the back, polycarbonate usually has, a, it would, like I did earlier today, has a droop to it, sag. If I had waited for the ABS to do this, it would have been way too hot when it went to forming. This was practically still a solid sheet. And if you, like I was talking about before, if you've seen any videos online of like the, was it Formoc or Formec things or a lot of other companies demonstrating their thermoforming, vacuum forming machines, they're always using something white. And I think it's usually like an ABS or styrene. That stuff, I can tell you now, compared to polycarbonate, is super easy to form compared to polycarbonate. Super easy. Way more forgiving. I, I can't believe, I mean, yeah. Uh, I wish I could do all the bodies in, in ABS and they were clear. <laughs> ABS. Because, um, yeah, that, that was way easier. Less, less heating time. The oven drying time is less. Uh, but the cooling time is, yeah, like I said, three times as much because it just, for some reason, really retains that heat. Now, it might be a, a matter of the thickness of the plastic, but I had to adjust, as you saw in the video there, the air pressure for the eject way down because you get blowouts like this and the fenders get bent up in the sides and everything. You can see how it should be, you know, like that, and we're getting flared <laughs> fenders, which might be an interesting look if you're looking for something like that. And so this is the side, this is one later on where things, the air ejects still need to be adjusted in cooling time. You can see um, over here, looks like the sheet kind of pulled out of the holder a little bit, but on uh, this one, but still, it's still formed, no problem. And uh, that's still with the rough side down. And then this is the smooth side down, the first one I think we did. And the air eject and stuff is too much. It's poofing out here on the side and it's poofing out the body on the side, the uh, passenger side, pretty good there. And I think the fenders are still got a little bit of a flare. Yeah, they still got a little bit of a flare there. So what I'm gonna do, if you're interested in these, uh, I'll offer some up to the guy if he's still interested in them. but. Um, I'm gonna put them in groups of two. We'll have these two together for sale for one price and then uh, We'll also put up these at some point. We'll do the best ones first. I'll let you see those on eBay We'll do them in pack a two pack basically this one. I probably won't so I'll just probably just scrap it uh, garbage it uh, And then these two will be for sale. So most of them are gonna be rough side out and then only this one will be smooth side out. There's only one I had that was decent that's smooth side out I have a feeling if you're painting, this is going to be better for, for adhesion than the smooth side, but I, I don't really know. I'm... We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.